EUS guided gastrojejunostomy for management of malignant gastric artery obstruction in a patient with Roux and Y anatomy. Gastric artery obstruction is a complication of advanced gastrointestinal malignancies and contributes significantly to patient morbidity. Surgical gastrojejunostomy and enteral stenting have been traditionally employed for management in these patients. Endoscopic ultrasound guided gastrojejunostomy with a lumen opposing metal stent provides an alternative to luminal stenting and surgical gastrojejunostomy. We present a case of EUS guided gastrojejunostomy performed in a patient with Roux and Y anatomy. A 56 year old male was transferred from an outside hospital for management of gastric artery obstruction. His past medical history was significant for metastatic duodenal adenocarcinoma, status post partial gastrectomy, and duodenectomy with Roux and Y gastrojejunostomy. Endoscopy done at the outside hospital revealed an ulcerated stricture at the gastrojejunal anastomosis with biopsies confirming recurrent adenocarcinoma. CT abdomen and pelvis showed post-surgical changes of Roux and Y gastrojejunostomy. The proximal stomach was distended with an air fluid level. In addition, wall thickening was seen at the GJ anastomosis and extending 2 to 3 centimeters distally in the jejunum. On endoscopy, a high-grade stricture was visualized at the gastrojejunal anastomosis. The mucosa of the stomach was normal. The gastric pouch appeared distended, measuring approximately 6 to 7 centimeters in length. Attempts to negotiate a diagnostic upper endoscope past the anastomosis and into the small bowel were unsuccessful. Notably, tumor could be seen extending distally into the small bowel. Using a sphincterotome preloaded with a 0 to 5 inch in diameter guide wire, the small bowel was selectively intubated. Contrast was injected to pacify the proximal jejunum. The sphincterotome was rotated to overcome the sharp angulation in the small bowel, thereby allowing the advancement of the guide wire deep into the jejunum under fluoroscopic guidance. Next, a 7 French nasocystic catheter was passed over the guide wire and passed the obstruction into the proximal jejunum. The gastroscope was subsequently removed, leaving the nasocystic drain in place. This was attached to a water jet, allowing infusion of large volume of dilute contrast mixed with methylene blue into the small bowel. With the echoendoscope positioned in the gastric pouch, a dilated small bowel loop was visualized. Under EUS guidance, the small bowel was punctured with a 22 gauge needle through an area of the gastric pouch free from cancer. Methylene blue was aspirated, confirming appropriate needle position in the jejunum. Maintaining the same EUS view, a direct placement of a 20 mm electrocautery enhanced lumen opposing metal stent was performed. The distal flange was deployed under EUS guidance. Following deployment of the proximal flange, bluish colored fluid was seen draining from the stent, confirming appropriate stent position in the jejunum. The echo endoscope was then exchanged with a forward viewing gastroscope. The lambs was seen in appropriate position in the gastric pouch, proximal to the stenotic anastomosis. Using a wire guided balloon, the lambs was dilated to 15 millimeters under endoscopic and fluoroscopic guidance. This was done to shorten time to improvement in the symptoms of gastric outlet obstruction. Following dilation, the endoscope was advanced through the lambs into the small bowel, revealing healthy jejunal mucosa. CT obtained the following day, confirmed appropriate lambs position and showed decreased gastric distension with oral contrast opacifying the stomach and small bowel. The patient did well post-procedure without any complications.
he was started on a clear liquid diet and gradually advanced to a soft mechanical diet over 24 hours. At four week follow up, he was tolerating a regular diet without nausea and vomiting and had gained 12 pounds since the procedure. He was last seen in GI clinic at three months post procedure and was doing well without any recurrent symptoms. Plan is to leave the existing stent for six months duration, following which he'll be scheduled for lambs exchange. EUS guided gastrojejunostomy using a lumen opposing metal stent is technically feasible in Roux and Y anatomy. This off label use of LAMS for management of malignant gastric artery obstruction has continued to evolve. In comparison with enteral stenting, EUS GJ has low rates of stent failure and symptom recurrence requiring reintervention. EUS GJ with LAMS has been shown to have a similar clinical efficacy to laparoscopic GJ with fewer adverse events, lower costs, and shorter hospital stays. Technical failure and adverse events associated with this technique are most commonly due to stent misdeployment. Increased familiarity with this technique has been shown to mitigate these complications.